hello all so in the series where we are talking about 2024 release wave one let's talk about one of the most demanded feature to have an ability to upload multiple files with this attach a document feature which is available in business center now microsoft have made some changes into it which will allow you to kind of select multiple files and then get them uploaded into your system so today we'll understand how you can do it and we'll also try to see if that's kind of added by microsoft so let's get into it this is my business center um let's get into an area where we see that upload action uh, let's go into resources this time when you go into the resources and when you open resource card uh, in the attachment areas when you go into the documents you see an option where you can either drop a file or click the file to browse so what i'm doing right now is i'm selecting some of the files and three this time three files and trying to drag it into this as i do that uh, nothing is happening which is weird so that means at this point i can only drag one file and let me try doing that yeah so one file seems to be getting uploaded but if i select more than one then it is not working that's the standard behavior of microsoft at this point but if in a scenario where you need to add a code which will allow you to upload multiple files let's try to understand the pattern that microsoft are building and how you can utilize it so let's get into vs code and let's zoom this in all right let's try to create a extension on the resource card i'll call it as sth resource card which is extending the resource card okay let's finish this and let's add an action somewhere in the resource card so let me come in here and let's do a actions area inside that let's add a action and we'll call it as let's say I'll have to define where I want to add it. My mistake. So let's do it at last on, let's say, resource. Is there something with source? Yes. Okay. Now, in this, let's add an action and let's call this action as upload multiple file. Okay. We need to have an application area which we have already defined. But when you're adding an action to upload multiple file Microsoft have defined a new type of action so the default action that we have been using like this will not work and there's a new action type which you can see from here that there's a new action type for file upload action when you choose file upload action it just work as it is so let's say upload multiple files okay inside that Let's define the application area for sure. I don't need all this. So just sit by AI. I need to do a caption for this. So let's set this up. Uh, upload multiple files. And then there are certain properties of these actions. Like uh, allow multiple files this is by default set to false so if you want to allow multiple files to be uploaded then you set this to true and then there is one more property which is allowed file extension here you can define the limit of which kind of files you would like to upload so let's say for this demo and you can change it when needed you can either do jpeg or you can do dot jpg and you can change anything that you need on this property these are the file extension that you would like your action to support. And that's it from a property section. Now from the trigger section, that all remains same. You just do the trigger and it comes with the same trigger called action. 
here you see a warning that the action in the file upload action type is not as other actions that we write it need to have a parameter of called files of list of upload files so this is a new data type called file upload and this file upload data type is now embedded as list into this action so which will then kind of store whatever you are capturing from there now once you select multiple file that kind of gets into this list and then you can traverse through this list to pick each and every file and do whatever action you want to do upload it somewhere save it somewhere whatever your need is so for the example sake let's understand how you do it so whenever things are in a list and you need to traverse through the list you will need a data type or a parameter of this type so let's say uploaded file file which is of type file upload now this defines what file is being uploaded so to traverse around this list what you will do you will do a for each and then each file in the files area one by one get into this parameter the individual file called upload file and this will allow you to do certain things here so now for each file in the files list you want to perform some actions and those actions will write here now let's see what's in the new data type called upload file options are so when you click on it and do a dot you see that there are two options one is a create in a stream so it allows you to kind of create a in a stream where you can put that file into the stream and then the file name which just returns you the file name so if you have to put it on on in a stream you need an input stream and then you need to define the encoding of it so let me just copy it define it here called file input stream and then I can then uh, do a create a stream pass my file in a stream and then encoding is needed as we saw so text encoding of type UTF-8 or anything right let's do that and now I can also see the file name so for that I'll use let's say for the demo I'll just use the file name parameter from the upload it will show me the file name but let's move a little bit ahead the file that's getting uploaded out of them the last file that I get should get into the resource picture okay so for that let's move a little bit ahead into it and we'll say rec which is uh, pointing to the resource right now uh, there should be an image which is of type uh, media I can do a import stream to kind of import from the stream which needs an in stream description the type and others there are six overload to it so I can just pass the in stream and then the other that I'm passing is the description which is blank with just this the file will then move into my resource image and at the end of it because I don't want to modify it every time once the last file that is picked I'll just do a report record dot modify as true what will happen with this the lice file that I have selected will get uploaded into my resource picture now understand it from this perspective that whatever you want to do you will kind of apply the same pattern to upload different files into it and uh, or save files into let's say a document attachment or anywhere else that you think now let's see where this resource group is because I'll have to promote this group with the modern action bar so let's see okay there's a lot into it so let me just search promoted okay so this is category process and then I can just see where I want it so I'll put it somewhere where let's say prices are there okay so it normally what Microsoft does here it will be prices underscore promoted it's not oh 
prices okay here is the prices promoted added and that is in the action group for category 4 so i can just add one more thing here after the file upload action i can also do a add last on to my category 4 and in this i can do action ref which is for upload multiple files so let's do that and we'll call it as promoted okay and that should do the magic to be kind of promoted which is nice because in the older versions of business central or in nav you have to define a lot of properties to promote an action so let's do a quick recap before we see it if you have to add something like this what you have to do is add a new action type of type file upload uh, where there are two special properties which is allow multiple files and the allowed file extension once you are there uh, you need to define an action which is a little bit different which takes the parameter of files that are selected by user and all the files selected get into the list of it to traverse all the items in the list we use the for each loop which then picks one file at a time and put it into this file upload object and then whatever you want to do you can put it into stream and then from different areas into the system you can just import the stream into somewhere else and then we just added it on the promoted and hopefully that helps to kind of create the, clear that confusion let's publish this and see what happens so now we are publishing this and that should load my client and i should be able to see it but it seems um an error message okay and maybe this object is used somewhere else so let me do it as six okay now with this i should be able to publish it now and if i have been able to publish it it should pop up my web client here which it is doing so now the difference between what microsoft had in the past and even it seems it's still there in in certain areas where you can just select one file with this new action that we just added into our resource card we'll be able to add multiple files into it and choose multiple files so if you look at it right now the resource picture is empty what we are going to do is we'll go to the resource area we have this upload multiple file action and i'll just drag three files into it and as you can see i'm dragging three as soon as i do that it shows me a progress bar which is nice and then it gives me file name for each file that I have uploaded the file name 2 the file name 1 and the file name second PC open discussion and out of them the last file was actually imported as the resource picture that we have so with just by applying this the new pattern that Microsoft have right now you can upload multiple files based on the different scenarios that you have into your system Hopefully, this is something that you are also looking for. I'm super excited with this feature. Thank you, Microsoft, to kind of baking it in so simply. There's nothing much to learn about it, but I'm pretty sure that you are excited as like me about this feature and you know the drill. If you like the content, hit the like button. If you think this is something that your fellow developers and customers should know, then share this video on your social media. And you have, if you haven't, then please do subscribe to the channel that helps us to understand how we are doing are we on the right track should be changing what we are doing so let us know into the comment section and we will be back soon with the next video into this series thank you have a great day